Alright guys, welcome to your 10th video and in this video what we're going to be doing now that we have these images styled is I'm going to show you guys that once you hover over an icon you can have the option of making a pop-up menu appear and I actually have this on my website where whenever you hover over it, my social network, it says who left a comment on your post or who liked your picture or any notifications that you want. So I'm going to show you guys how to do it and you can actually do it for every single one of these. Say if one of them was for, I don't know, your picture notifications or your video notifications. But anyways, let's go ahead and get to it. So again, one more time, whenever you hover over them, you can either have this as a drop up menu or just, you know, some little anything that appears really. So let's go ahead and give me some space. Now go ahead and put links class notification icons so basically these are going to be links right here and whenever they have the class applied to them and we're going to be doing this in HTML notification icons what we want to do is we want to give them a span now the span is that pop-up box so you see that pop-up that just popped up that is the span element so by default whenever we first load the web page we don't want it to display at all we only want it to show when the user hovers over it now I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do this in CSS so the first thing we need to do is display none now again like I said this is gonna be the default display because we don't want those menus popping up as soon as the page loads we want to wait till the user hovers over them so now let's just go ahead and style it font size 12 pixels color and this is of course the color of the font not the color of the menu or anything so the font is white the bottom is 45 pixels now what you want to do is remember that this entire the bottom isn't right here where the tip of my mouse is the bottom is actually the bottom of the web page and since our, our footer is 40 pixels tall we want to put this either at 41 or you know 45 I think it looks pretty good at 45 so again make sure to set the bottom or else it's gonna appear at the bottom of your uh, web page in overlap which is bad now the width of this is 150 pixels looks pretty good now the position is actually pretty important position absolute now you want to make sure your position is absolute because if you have just a bottom and a right then the position would be the same you see how whenever I hover this uh, over this Facebook icon the menu appears centered right over this icon well if I put a fixed position then whenever I would hover over this one the menu would appear to the right and whenever I hover over this one the menu would appear way over here so whenever we give it an absolute position it uses these icons as a reference so the little pop-up is centered over it every single time so remember position absolute not fixed now for the border and this is just a regular border one pixel solid and I'm just gonna give it like three three make sure I got enough three three two more okay and it's like a um, almost a black but not quite now the border radius is let's just go ahead and set this to three pixels and again I don't know if I said this before but you see how the corners of this are not exactly square they have a little curve to them well that is where your border radius is border radius pretty much means how um, curvy do you want your corners but you know that would have been way too long a property to type out and the padding of this is five pixels since we don't want our text button up against the side and the margin left this is actually pretty important the margin left you want negative 70 pixels now the reason that you want this is if you didn't have this then whenever you hover over this icon it would align with the left hand side so um, you see how the left you see how this box appears in the center right now that's because I moved it to the left 70 pixels remember the entire thing is 150 pixels wide so when you move it to the left 70 pixels that gives you pretty much the center of it actually um, 75 would be the center so we can do that be a little bit cleaner now for the background I also want to make this semi transparent so I want to give it about 40% opacity so the background equals RGBA 
and the color is black, 0, 0, 0 is black, and for the opacity, 0 0.4 is 40% opacity. So right now, we styled a pretty cool pop-up box, but the thing is, if we just loaded this in our browser, then it would never display because we always have the display set to none. Now what we want to do is we want to display this whenever the user takes their mouse and hovers over it. So how do we do that? Well guys, this is probably the easiest thing that I've ever taught you guys. This is actually a cheating kind of way to do it. Copy this, which is the same element, but instead of styling it again, what we want to do is we want to style this link on the hover property. So this is the default link and when you hover over it, what do you want to change? Well, the only thing we want to change is this display. Instead of displaying none, display it as a block. Now, when you display none, that means that nothing appears on the screen. However, when you hover over it, it's going to display block, which just means a block is just a block level element, and it just means that it appears on the screen. So once we save this and of course this is uh, my old one but now whenever we hover over it whenever we hover over this link what's gonna happen is it's gonna go from display none to display block which pretty much means show up on the screen so display none display block boom roasted so that is how you get this little hover box over your links whenever they have the property notifications like on. But anyways, thank you guys. We're done with the little itty gritty main styling. So in the next tutorial, we're going to be styling pretty much all the good stuff. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.